the rubber meets the road when our ideas are tested in the clinical arena. And one would have never suspected a primacy of B cells in the MS pathogenesis um, uh, pathway were it not for the B cell therapeutics. Mm -hmm. The current FDA approved B cell therapies all target CD20, although one could argue that all MS therapies are interfering with B cells as well as T cells. But the current B cell focus therapies affect B cells from the pro B cell early stage to the activated memory cell stage. The earliest B cell precursors are not affected, meaning that there is reliable reconstitution, so the safety of the therapeutic is, is um, assured from that perspective. And second, that most plasma blasts and all plasma cells are unaffected by B cell therapy. And that probably also is important in safety because pre-existing humoral immunity is preserved. And we know that plasma cells, for example, can live for many decades. We know that with B cell therapies, B cells to some extent and plasma cells to a greater extent are not eliminated from the nervous system. And this is probably a driver of progressive MS. So more effective ways to eliminate B cell overactivity within the central nervous system and in the meninges is essential. The the great advantage of BTK inhibitors, in addition to the fact that they are orally administered, um, is that they are effective against some of these B cell populations that are typically resistant to CD20 therapies and especially activated plasma blasts. So the hope is that if we could have BTK inhibitors that could penetrate the nervous system adequately and be selective enough not to be, not to have too many off-target effects, that this could be an additional therapy as we think of eliminating progression entirely rather than partially. Phenobrutinib is a quite unique uh, molecule in the current uh, global landscape of, of BTK inhibitors because of its selectivity. I believe that all of the others have numerous kinase off-target effects, and phenobrutinib is really astoundingly specific. All of its effects we can reasonably attribute to BTK inhibition and not other kinases. But what is also remarkable is that um, microglial and innate immunity is also in part BTK dependent. So there are effects of fenobrutinib on not only B cells and plasma blasts, but also we think on microglia and macrophages, both of the drivers of progressive MS. So I'm very excited to see the effects of this highly selective dual efficacy therapeutic against both B cells and microglial cells in patients. Um, and what we have presented is just the description of the trials that will address fenobrutinib. Um, but I think that this is a very exciting step forward for the unsolved half of the disease, treating progressive MS completely effectively.